you have a remarkable mind. Like it, it's it's I, I I'm amazed at your ability, almost irrespective of the subject I might bring up when we meet personally, of you having 33 theories about it. You just have a <laughs> a phenomenal a phenomenal intellect. Like it's it's you're shockingly well informed. Well, it was one of the things about words and uh, and books. Uh, when my 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 mother and father had lost really everything in Limerick and were moving, the one thing my mother she just go to O'Mahony's bookshop and she just buy books and things like that. And even in their difficult times, my uncle and aunt uh, they bought the paper and the pay and so on. And I didn't go to to uh, primary school in Bellingham until I was seven, but. Uh, I was used as a kind of a demonstration of that how home education. Anyway, I had I learned from the newspaper headlines how to read, hmm. and uh, and that was the kind of thing. And I say all of this only to uh, encourage anyone that in a republic, uh, any child, man or boy, girl. Uh, I would. That's why I say to them about my life. He says that. It, it, where I am now would seem impossible at several stages of my life for different reasons and so on. And they should have hope and aspire and they should really, that's what's important for people to come through the, the thing. But you, I like actually, I do mind work. I'll tell you what I do think as well about that is, is this uh, amazing in Ireland I noticed as well, it's very important to, to touch people. Uh, yeah. I I I I, uh, I remember, as I said, I was being reared uh, separate from my two sisters. Wonderful when they immigrated to England at uh, twenty. But my sister now is eighty, down in Shannon, Kathleen, with whom I have a, a very warm relationship still. Uh, but I remember when she visited us out in the country, and uh, she held my hand uh, going down uh, the, the road towards Newmarket and Fergus, and that was. I was in a time, it was in a time in Ireland in the 1950s when people didn't touch each other. And that was a great pity because if there is a history of thought and a history of philosophy in many cases, you look at the great paintings, it's people reaching out to touch each other and so forth. Yeah. And then you do that with, with, with tact and with respect and you do it, but it's important even in you say about the intellectual side of it, when you say to them, I was touched by what you said. Yeah. And it, uh, now there's that when you're saying about it all, it says that Aristotle regarded touch as the most important of the senses. Plato thought that the visual was the most important of the senses. And Plato let us all wrong. Yeah. That was a mistaken road. We're much better off when we were able, in fact, actually, to engage with sensibility with all of the phenomena of the world. Dogs and horses and people and everything. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, yeah.